Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today, we're going to look at one of my primary hybrids. This is a cross between Equestris and Bellina. Equestris being the pot parent. And both parents are actually Alba. However, every time this orchid bloomed, I always have this question mark in my head because how can two parents, Alba parents, produce a cross with pink or purple pigments? Well, after seven years, I, I've had this orchid since 2016. So after six, seven years, I finally decided to write an email to the orchid nursery I, I got this orchid from and they finally gave me answer. It was not an answer um, that I was expecting, but I tend to believe that what they say is true. So in other words, <laughs> the label was not incorrect or because <laughs> I, I always wonder maybe this orchid was simply mislabeled. But anyway, what they told me is because genetically speaking, because this orchid is propagated from seeds, so what is the seed propagation? Sometimes the offsprings, the crosses, can potentially still get uh, characteristics not the same as the uh, parents. In other words, I just happened to get this particular orchid and this orchid did not 100% take after the Alba characteristics. So that was the reason given to me from the orchid nursery because it's seed propagation propagated and um and i i tend to believe them because i have two germaine vincent and germaine vincent is a cross between violacea and speciosa and i have two of them in my collection and either one of uh, both of them have very dis different characteristics one is more taking after to trespass. The other one, you can tell it's just very 99% Violacea type. So I would agree. And also, by the way, when I purchased Jermaine Vincent, the flower I saw in the photo looks nothing like the two that I have. So I guess that's the beauty and surprise that can come with seed propagation, seed propagated orchids. Now, back to this orchid. Even though that's a very surprising answer because it's seed propagated, so you don't always get what you think the parents may potentially, um, you know, give in terms of the, the characteristics. Okay, I get that. However, I still love this orchid very, very much. Um, even though it does not have any fragrance from Bellina, it has that multi-floral of, of Equestris, which I love. You know, every time it's multiple blooms, with my Bellina, that it has always been one to two blooms at a time, but with this one, gosh, it's multi-floral, <laughs> many blooms, very festive, and this time around, it also gives me two spikes, even though one spike is a lot smaller, but, you know, it's doing better and better each year, and I think that as time goes on, this when as this orchid gets more mature, I'm hoping that it will start to retain its flower spikes. I know Equestris and Bellina are both sequential bloomers, so they, they do keep their flower spikes for one, two, or even three years, or even longer. But for these, this particular orchid, every time after the blooms are done, it always uh, retire or terminate its spikes. So I'm hoping it's just an age thing because I would love to see this orchid grow to be much bigger and to have multiple spikes and elongate. And maybe this orchid can grow a keiki or two. I don't mind that even though I don't really always like keikis. But for this particular cross, which I haven't seen all that often. In fact, I've never seen it since I purchased it from uh, an orchid nursery. And by the way, if you flip the parent, so if it's Bellina as a pot parent using Equestris pollen, that particular cross is called Minitris. But this cross is never registered. I looked online and I don't believe this particular cross is registered under any specific name or by any um, breeder. 
So I wonder why that is. Nonetheless, it's a very interesting cross and I'm glad that I have one in my collection. I'm, I'm just hoping that it will grow bigger, more established to have multiple spikes going forward. And by the way, later in the video, uh, toward the end of the video, I should say, I included a few photos of this orchid plus my mini tris, which is a cross between Bellina and Equestris. And that one, both parents are Cerulea uh, type of parents. So you'll get to see the, um, the differences because this one is most more closer to Equestris, whereas Minitris using Bellina as the mother plant, the, the, the pot parent, it looks more like Bellina. Now, this orchid is currently grown in a 16 ounce cup, so it's a grande Starbucks coffee cup um, with drainage holes at the bottom, so it's a traditional setup with inorganic media. And the inorganic mi mixture is a uh, mixture of hydrocorn and manto clay, manto clay being the smaller pebble of the two. The ratio usually is one to one, but with this orchid, because the roots were not as thick, so I might have put in a little bit more smaller pebbles, but that's about it. And because you see that there are drainage holes at the bottom and some roots have already grown out of those drainage holes, and um, and I use double cup method. So I t sometimes do go between traditional method and semi-hydroponic um, variation, uh, the growing method, go between them. Depending on what I see, when, when I feel this orchid needs more water, I tend to leave a little bit of excess water at the bottom to allow the, the roots at the bottom to, to absorb. But otherwise, I drain out the water completely after I give this orchid a quarter cup of water each time. And in terms of fertilizer, it's always just 25% dosage. So that's quarter strength. And here you can also see the tag again. You know, it's not mislabeled. It's just simply because it's propagated from seed. And sometimes you just don't get 100% the characteristics of the all bad parents. Okay, coming up, we're going to see the side-by-side -side comparison of this orchid and my mini tris, which um, essentially has the same parentage, but just, you know, mother and father kind of flip. And this is what they look like. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!